After a couple of weeks of using our new beads in the water softener, I realized that our dishwasher wasn't getting our coffee cups clean. It turns out four parts per million of chlorine is a lot, and that was also going into our septic. These 8% cross-linked resin beads have been destroyed by the chlorine in our municipal water after four years of use. Most manufacturers recommend rebedding water softeners every seven to 10 years. To remove the beads and clean out the tank, you can also lay the softener on its backside. Remove the resin tank from the brine tank and dump out the beads onto a towel. Chlorine is the primary cause of resin bead degradation because it breaks up the glue that holds them together. The chlorine level in our water is four parts per million. So I'm rebedding the tank with 10% cross-link cation resin beads, along with a gravel bed to protect the bottom distributor basket. Adding a reverse osmosis system on the water supply line will also remove the chlorine before entering the softener. Water companies provide a water quality data table on their websites, so it's a good idea to review that information before installing your water softening system. Morton's M20 water softener operates well for our two-person household. It's compact, user-friendly, doesn't use a lot of water to recharge the beads, and easy to troubleshoot. When our water pressure was gradually getting worse, I bypassed the softener and the pressure went back to normal. To inspect the beads for damage, I turned off the water supply line to the house, opened a faucet to remove pressure on the collar around the valve body bypassed the valve assembly, detached the valve body, and pulled out the distributors with the pipe. I reached down through the water and grabbed a handful of beads, and when I rubbed them into the palm of my hand, they turned to mush. Another sign that your resin beads are damaged and restricting flow is if your water is salty after the recharge is complete. Before reassembling the valve body and bypass assembly, I inspected the hoses and cleaned the venturi parts with soapy water. I greased the O-rings on the bypass assembly and made sure the turbine was properly seated inside the flow valve. Since it was 8 p.m. and we wouldn't be using much more water, I went ahead and recharged the system. This diagram explains how the system functions and recharges the beads for ionic exchange. Thanks for watching.